just a quick little reminder, quick little video, guys, I want to make. All right. When sharing the gospel with somebody, you need to make it clear if you even utter the word repentance or repent, okay? You don't tell somebody, turn away from your sin, okay? Because that's a natural... Why? Why? Because that's a natural inclination of when you receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit... And a, a Christian doesn't need to be told uh, that's wrong, okay? Well... Maybe there's some circumstances. Maybe some stubborn Christians are dabbling in something that is highly wicked and they're saying it's okay. All right, I could understand something like that. Somebody that's being stubborn and rebellious. But, but we that have the Holy Spirit, we have the Spirit of God inside of us. We know, okay? We know what's right and what's wrong. We, we don't have to be told. You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be doing that. Okay. But when you, when a person is freshly saved, and you tell them you got to turn from this, turn from that, that is unneeded jargon. Okay. Paul told the people, the men in Athens. Okay. Turn from the false gods and turn to the true Christ, the true God. Okay. Oh. Okay, put your faith in Christ alone, not those other gods too. That's what he was saying. Okay. Because only faith alone in Christ alone will save. Alright, if, you, if you're trusting in anything plus Jesus, that's not true. That's not saving faith. And when I say saving faith, I mean faith alone in Christ alone is the only way you can be saved. That's true faith right there. That's not... That's not believing in vain. That's not a false uh, faith in a false object. Okay. Uh, yeah, Paul told the men of Athens. Let me tell you about the unknown God. It's Jesus Christ. He told them about Christ. And he said, repent. God has winked at this nonsense for a while but now he commands every man everywhere to repent change your mind about what you believe about who you trust okay that's all about who you trust what are you trusting in okay when the chips are down and you're backed up into the corner what are you going to trust you're going to start thinking about how you lived your life right before you die or are you going to think about the perfect one, Jesus Christ. Us as humans, we we all know that we get caught up in our material, our actions, our how what we do, what we don't do. And at the end of the day, the truth is God already seen everything you're going to do. Okay. And we, you know, it catches us by surprise because we don't know the future. God knows the future. You know, so when you do something crazy, oh man, I can't believe I did that, man. You better believe it, because God already knew you were going to do that. <laughs> and He already made, uh, He already made a plan. He already had a plan. Precautions in Jesus Christ. But repent. Getting back on the repent thing. It's the Holy Spirit's job once we receive that new heart, okay? It's part of the new creation we are, okay? That our new heart is always bent toward the Lord. It's always toward the Lord. And the other side of us is enticed by the world, okay? Our new heart can't be enticed by the world. I don't care what anybody tells because I'm I'm telling you what there ain't there's no amount of worldly lust, greed, whatever that can change or turn your born again new heart away from the Lord. You have a heart that is 
is is in tune with God. Okay? It's one with God. That cannot get any satisfaction from anywhere else in this world or in the next world to come or any anywhere else but the Lord. He, he made you that way. Once you trusted Him. And then you love Him. Because you sin doesn't mean you don't love God. Yes, Jesus said in the Bible, if you love me, keep my commandments. But let's you can delve deeper into that. Who keeps the commandments 100% perfectly? Nobody. So then by default, you could say, well, I mean, I guess nobody really loves Jesus. Well, with your born-again heart, you love the Lord. Okay, it's kind of like Paul said, with the flesh, I serve the law of sin. But with the new man, I, you know, the born-again side of me. I love the Lord with all my heart. But the other part of me, it's bent towards other ways. But God bless everybody. I'm going to have to stop this video coming home from work. I will uh, try to make a few more videos pretty soon. God bless everybody.